Hey folks, I'm Matt from Fidel Gastros, and welcome back to yet another episode of Tales from the Kitchen, Hack or Hype. Thunder and then lightning and then shaking. Long story short, chefs have a certain way of doing things, or sometimes families pass down traditions on how to cook a specific dish. This show is all about trying to prove them wrong, or maybe see if there's a better way to do something. And at the end of the day, we want to know if those traditions are kitchen hacks or false hypes. But it's not me that makes that call in the end. Every episode, we bring in a guest judge, they taste the food, they let me know what they think, and we decide if something's a kitchen hack or a false hype. Let's do it! The kitchen tail, the kitchen tail of the French fry. The russet potato has long been considered the French fry potato. Two reasons. One, its skin is incredibly thick, so it gives a great texture on the teeth. But the main reason is its starch levels. Russet potatoes have a higher starch, and that's been said to make a better frying potato. Now, I agree. I actually have always thought russets make fantastic french fries. But then along came these new chefs, which technically I would be considered one of those as well, and they said, no, no, Matt, no. The red skin potato makes a better french fry, mainly because it's got a higher sugar content. And when that sugar hits the hot oil, it makes for a crispier fry. Which one's right? Which one's wrong? I don't know. Do you? That's our first experiment. Now our second experiment is going to be looking at the methodology of cooking french fries. The traditional way is to double fry. 300 Fahrenheit canola oil, the fries go in, we fry them till they're cooked, remove them, bring the oil up to a higher temperature, fry them again to make them crispy. This new way that we're going to test as well is very, very different. Instead of blanching in oil, we're actually going to blanch the fries in vinegar water. We're going to bring them up to temp, cook them through, and then toss them in flour, and then fry them in a hot oil. Which one makes a better fry? I don't know. Do you? Experiment one, red skin potato versus the russet. Experiment number two, traditional double fry versus the water vinegar blanch. So here are the variables for experiment number one. All the potatoes are going to be cut to the same thickness. They're going to be fried at the same temperature, blanched at 300, and then finished off at 390. And then they're going to be cooked for identical times. So experiment two is a little different. Everything stays the same from a variable perspective, but the only thing that changed is the actual method itself of cooking, because that's what we're testing. So before we start frying up our fries for experiment one, let's meet our judge. Hi, I'm Pei Chen. I'm a TV host and writer and producer who specializes in food, travel, and lifestyle, pretty much everything. Matt knows a little, and what he does know is that I love fries, and I love food in general, but French fries hold a special place in my heart, so it's perfect to be here. There better be a lot of fries. <laughs> this can't be prop food, I'll be so sad. And a whole lot of talk in this show, not a lot of frying. Let's do it. Experiment one, we have our russet potatoes and our red skins, and we're gonna cut them. And the trick is having even sized French fries, and skin on. All right, so we're gonna do these fries exactly the same. We're gonna do a six minute blanch at one temperature, and we're gonna jack it up to 390 Fahrenheit, and then we're gonna finish frying the fries at that temp. Okay, so my hypothesis is that the russet potato, the tried and true, makes a better French fry. I'm not saying that the red skin potato isn't a good French fry also, I just think that the you know, the new craze is more hype than anything. So before we actually deep fry these potatoes, we have to make sure that the oil is at perfect temperature. So I'm just gonna take a little reading. Canola oil is set to 300 Fahrenheit. Red skin potato in. So we've blanched the red skin potatoes. We're gonna just remove them from the oil and place them on this paper towel here to drain a bit of that excess oil. Before I add the russets, I'm just going to take the temperature of the oil again, make sure it hasn't dipped. We are good to go. So now the russet potatoes are going to go in, and we're going to blanch those ones. All right, so the french fries are cooked. Time to bring in my expert judge. Okay, my good friend Pei Chen, expert judge. That's why, right. you know, you're a TV show host and a writer, but why are you a, my expert judge today? I just love judging, in general, people, things, 
every situation in life, I'm such, I'm so judgmental. And you probably have food in and around your hands at least every three hours. Oh my God, that you meant my yeah. face. Yeah. You probably there's, have food. I'm like, there's always like a cupcake do. in your videos. I usually or... put food in my purse. Yeah. There's, like, there's butter, there's cookies, there's chocolate. You never know when you need it. Uh, French fries, big, th big fan? Exactly. Yeah, I love, come on, potatoes. Potatoes in every form are good. And carbs. And so. And Delicious. deep frying. And yes. deep frying. And deep frying. All things. of those things. Yeah. Well, what do you look for in a french fry? I like a fry that's a little bit crisp on the outside, but I also like one um, that just has like a little bit of like uniness. It's soft on the inside. And when I was little, uh, the fries that you would get um, at like fast food restaurants, if they had sharp edges, I didn't like it. I didn't like, no, I don't like sharp it's edges aggressive, in my It's aggressive food fry. Because it would like poke I'm the roof of my, my mouth. I'm looking at my So yeah, I'm here. being very careful. Yeah. I like <laughs> blunt edges on my fries. Okay, well, so this is what we're doing right now. We have two types of potatoes right. fried the exact same way. Okay. So we are testing whether or not the russet potato, which has traditionally been the french fry potato, makes a better french fry than the red skin potato, which is now being considered the better french fry potato. Okay. So I wanna hear which one you think is which, and I want you to tell me which one you prefer. All right. Eat, eat. This was a very long potato. Look at this, okay. A little wobbly. Good. All right. Let's go over here. Yeah, that blow on that one for me. I love how we always have to make other people blow on your food. It's never <laughs> you blowing on. Thank the time my mom had to blow on my food as a child. All right. Oh yeah, the nice, nice crisp here. Ooh, that one had a mm, sounded. A crunch? There was a crunch in that. Okay, so, this one. This one. Prep. This one preference. And then which is which? Let's call this a red skin. This is red skin? Yep. And this is your preferred potato? Yes. Deal. Okay. You won't know until the end. But I'm right. Okay. Experiment two. Okay. Get out. Okay. Get out. <laughs> Experiment two. We're going to use red skin potatoes and the variables are exactly the same. Cutting the fries all consistently right throughout. But what's different in this experiment is the cooking methodology. One French fry, we're gonna cook the traditional way, the double fry. First blanching in oil at 300 Fahrenheit. And then cranking it up to 390 Fahrenheit. The other French fry method, it's kind of like a, it's a new approach to cooking French fries. We're gonna blanch it in vinegar water first, toss it in flour, and then finish it in hot oil. So my Tales from the Kitchen hypothesis on experiment number two, although the traditional way of doing french fries is good, I might think it's a little more kitchen hype than uh, this new method, which is blanching in vinegar water first. Hot fries out of the oil. Time to bring our guest judge, Pei Chen, back in the test. Come on in, Pei. You're the next contestant on Eat My French Fry. So, experiment number two. Yes. Same potato, mm -hmm. different method of cooking. Okay. One of them is traditional. There's the 300 blanch in oil. Mm -hmm. Remove, bring the oil temperature up, and then finish it at 390. The other is blanched in vinegar water. Toss in flour and then fried at 390. Okay. Which is which, and which do you prefer? Well, the color's really different. Did you fry them for the same length of time? Z uh, actually, I fried one longer than the other. Well, I'm gonna this one, but I could be wrong. You tell <laughs> me. it's so much darker. So much darker. Okay, so one is the traditional one, and then one is the one uh, this with new the method. flour. Yes, the, the method. flour and the water. So vinegar water? Vinegar, vinegar water. Vinegar water and flour. So you actually, you place the potato in the water at room temp with mm -hmm. the vinegar, and then you bring it up to a boil. Okay. Very different color. Yeah. These are pre-vacation, and this is after vacation. <laughs> Did you slather evenly? <laughs> <laughs> well, these have the vinegar and the flour. Because you taste it. Yeah, I can taste the, like, the little tang. Interesting. Right? Can you taste the vinegar? Really subtle. Very, very subtle. Not that I'm giving you any information. 
on the side. And which one did you prefer in taste? Well, I love these because this is just the way a French fry should taste. Like lightly seasoned, nice and crisp. Um, I like the little tang of vinegar, but I, I like sour, right? So it's not that they taste sour, but I think I would, I would, I would stick with the classic still. Okay. Yeah. Verdict is in. But let me just make sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We've had four different kinds of fries. Ready for the results? Mm -hmm. All right. Are you ready? All right, the results are in, Pei. Yes. So the first test, we were looking at russet versus mm -hmm. redskin, which tasted better. Yeah. Uh, you picked the redskin potato mm -hmm. over the russet. So traditionally, russet has been the, the French fry potato. Yeah. You picked the new potato. Back for new queen. I, I actually agreed. And then uh, when I asked you to pick which was which, mm -hmm. you were right. You nailed which one was the russet and which one was Look, the redskin. But you fries. switched it last minute, though. <laughs> You were wrong at first, and then you and then switched, switched it. Okay, what made I you mean? switch? Um, well, I just obviously knew I was mistaken in the first few words that I said, and I'm so rarely wrong. <laughs> I corrected myself right away. Ah, ah yes, perfection. Uh, always. Exactly. I mean, yes, I don't know what it's like to be wrong. <laughs> Too funny. Second test, we were looking at methods. Uh, which one was the vinegar water blanche? Which one was the the oil blanche? and uh, you were right on both accounts. So you said the regular one was fried a specific way, yep. and then you were right, and then you said you liked that one better. Mm -hmm. Which which is also right. Which is also right. Had you been blindfolded on that, right? This was right. But they yes. looked very different. They did look really different, yes. So like uh, you're super right. different. If I had been blindfolded, although if I had been blindfolded, because you had soaked one in vinegar, that was you telling taste. different. Okay, yeah. so had nothing to do with the appearance. Um, well, you was... can kind of see a little bit of a coating on the, with the flour, right, but really, right, right. It, when it comes down to taste, you could you could taste the slight vinegar. The one thing you were wrong about, though, no. was that the one that was darker was actually fried for less time. Oh. The one that was done in water and vinegar and flour mm -hmm. first uh, had been in the oil the way long. One. Yeah, <laughs> you did a great job. I know. Thanks. Um, <laughs> thanks, buddy. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I'm all greasy. I know. <laughs> I've got a thin layer of frying well, oil. What have I proven? Well, you've proven that red skin potato does make a better French fry than the traditional People russet. Need to consider it more. But at the end of the day, the tried, tested, true yeah. double fry is the best way to go. Sometimes you need something a little bit new, but you don't want to mess too much with tradition. I would agree with that. Just a little bit. Because I might. Just, you know, I have. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming out. Welcome. You expert, you. I know. You French I'm fry. Expert. Should I just walk off and leave you? Yeah, get out. Okay. <laughs> Pretty fly for a fry guy. Boom. Uh -oh, uh -oh, uh -oh.